welcome back to my kitchen and by my kitchen I mean my mom's kitchen because I'm rarely in here other than for these videos literally I hope I'm not too washed out I probably am because this window is like wide open and if it's kind of loud it's because the laundry room is right next to me and my mom is doing laundry and I can't stop her because she's cleaning clothes for me. But anyways, welcome! I hope you guys have been healthy, healthy from COVID, healthy from the flu, healthy from just normal sickness during this time. And I hope you guys are just thriving in the best way you can. And if not, just getting through every day is an accomplishment, so. Me being in my kitchen is very telling that this is going to be a cooking with crystal, or I guess baking with crystal in this case and also if you hear a little baby voice in the background it's my nephew and i also can't stop him because he's two before i get further into the video i just want to give a big shout out i like got disoriented for a second to today's video sponsor which is none other than skillshare if you're not new to my channel you are not new to Skillshare, but if you are new to my channel, Skillshare is an online learning community where they have tons and tons, like I'm talking thousands, of classes that you can take. The classes are made by professionals who know what they're doing, who know what they're teaching. Skillshare is a great place to help explore your creativity because you have tons of classes from all walks of learning. You have like cooking and baking videos, which you could totally watch instead of watching me fail. Fitness videos, editing videos, and my personal favorite, the classes that I tend to like go towards the most are like self-help or just personal lifestyle improvement classes. I have right here some classes I want to share with you guys if you guys are interested in taking them. I've been really into journaling these days and one class I took it's called Writing for Self-Discovery, Six Journaling Prompts for Gratitude and Growth. I highly recommend this class if you're into journaling. And the teacher, her name is Yasmin Cheyenne. She is a great teacher and just in general, I think the class is very worth it. And another class that I recommend that I just have started taking recently is called Create a Perfect Morning Routine by Jeff Finley. I find that really necessary because I have no morning routine. I have no routine in general. I literally wake up and do my little daily tasks and then I go back to sleep. So I really wanna create a really good morning routine just so I feel at least productive from the moment I wake up in general. You know what I mean? So those are two classes I'm taking right now that I would recommend if you guys don't know what class you might wanna take from the beginning and you're into self-help classes like that, take it with me and let me know how that's going for you. And if you guys are like, Crystal, how can I take those classes? Well, I have an offer for you guys that you might be interested in. So the first 1,000 of you that go ahead and click the link I'm gonna leave down in the description as well as in the comments are going to get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, which is awesome because Skillshare Premium is what gives you access to all of these classes in their entirety. And then if you're interested in continuing your Skillshare subscription after the free trial, the yearly subscriptions are, I believe, like less than $10 a month, which is pretty dang awesome. Again, thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and without further ado, let me get in to the mess that's about to happen. Okay, so I realized I didn't even tell you guys what I'm gonna be making. So I'm gonna be making today because I watched Princess and the Frog the other day, and by the other day, I mean yesterday. Beignets. Is that how you say it? I was gonna say bayonets, but I know I'll get tons of hate in the comments. Beignets, I think it's beignets. But I'm making them, those like little um, square rectangular like powdered sugar pieces of bread looking things. I totally know a place not too far where I can buy some, but I was like, Crystal, just make some. Try your best, at least. And if I make them bad, I have that place to go to. So really there's no losing. It's currently 1.38 p.m. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I don't think it'll take too long. So let's just hop right in. Let me show you my recipe setup. Also, I have my favorite movie playing in the background for background music because um, I need serotonin. I also had to go to Target because I was missing some ingredients. Oops. Okay, so I have 
all-purpose flour, I have granulated sugar, I have baking powder, baking soda, salt, I have ground nutmeg. It says you can use like normal milk, buttermilk, whatever you want to use. I hear that using evaporated milk makes it more like fluffy. So I got evaporated milk. I need water, but I'll get that after. One egg, vanilla extract, canola oil for frying, and then powdered sugar. And then I have whipped cream because I love whipped cream. I bought ingredients and then I was like, okay, I have everything. And then this morning, I was like, oh my God, I don't have powdered sugar or baking soda. So I left this morning to Target to go get those things. And then I got back and then I was like, I have everything. And then I was like, okay, mom, where are the eggs? Because we always have freaking eggs. And my mom looked at me like, we don't have eggs. We had to go to the store to get eggs. And remember when I told you before that it was 1.38 p.m. I remember it on the dot. Right now, 3.15 p.m. In between 1.30 p.m. to 3.15 p.m., I've been to Target to get the first batch of stuff that I forgot. And then we went to Superior to get the frickin' egg. The frickin' egg. Time to start baking. Let's get started. You need a medium bowl and a large bowl. So in the medium bowl, two and three-fourths cups of flour. Okay. All in here and then one-third cup of sugar which I could totally just eat raw should I just eat it raw honestly to feel something bottoms up my dentist look away two teaspoons of baking powder which I have right here how much I literally just said it two teaspoons are you guys super exact with your measuring because I never am and maybe that's why nothing ever really turns out perfect that's life Half a teaspoon of baking soda, right? Half a teaspoon of salt, okay. Also, do you guys hear high school in the background? Maybe I should lower it. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of this ground nutmeg. Boop. So combine the flour with the sugar, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and nutmeg. I think you're gonna whisk it to so just mix it all up together. Paris, London, Rome, Toronto, LA, Sydney, Buenos Aires, Tokyo, Moscow, Bollywood, we New York City. Okay, sorry, I was I got into it. I got really into it. And then it says in a large bowl, we're gonna whisk together the milk, water, egg, and vanilla extract. So I have my evaporated milk. It says shake well at the top. Oh, oh, that smells really sweet. Let me try it. Let me taste test it for you guys. Oh, that's not good. One cup of evaporated milk or buttermilk, whatever milk. I'll pour it in. One third cup of water. The one egg. Watch these breaking skills. Oh, that wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Got it. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which smells so good. Oh, I think I put in more, but oh well. So we're gonna whisk this together, which is just, again, the milk, water, egg, and vanilla extract. Yes, I'm looking at the recipe, because I'm no Martha Stewart. I don't know this by memory. And then once this is whisked together, it's a little thick. It's a little thick, let's look at it. Stir in the flour mixture from step one. So then we're gonna start putting this in, we're gonna go in segments so that it doesn't overwhelm me. Okay, boop, 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 boop. This is after my second adding of the flour. Add it all because YOLO. Oh my gosh, I think I should switch to a spatula. Uh, spatula, spatula. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I finished whisking, or I guess stirring with this spatula. It looks kinda rough. I actually added about like one fourth cup more of flour just to kind of make it less sticky, I guess. So now I'm just going to put this onto like a flat surface so that I can like cut it and start frying and stuff. It looks like it had a hard year. 2020 was hard on all of us, not just people, but like all of us. Okay, this is the part where I think 
my mom is going to hate me um while you're watching this i know it had already it's already happening but please pray that she does not walk in until i finish this step dust your work surface so good enough whatever here's ooh. here's my baby this is my dough baby Ooh, it's almost as big as my head um, it's actually way smaller. I'm just trying to make my head seem smaller, but I know I have a big head. Anyways, it's getting really sticky, so let me pat it onto the surface. Pat it into a large square and dust it with more flour if it gets sticky. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty sexy. To solve the mystery, fight the battle, save the girl. Next, slice the dough into 21 half inch squares. So I'm just gonna cut them however I want. <laughs> and I think this is the sharpest thing I have. Is this called like a machete? Oh, a cleaver, not a machete. And then I just put the parts that I cut to make it like a clean rectangle in my bowl. And then I'm gonna actually like just cut these into smaller pieces. And then when I'm frying, these are gonna be like my test pieces. So now I'm going to cut this into like, it says 15 to 21 pieces. So let's see how that goes. Six by four. 24. Quick mess. Whoa, that's way more than I need, but okay. So those are my little beignets. Beignets. I'm having my mom pour the oil because I don't know how much I should pour it. I just have it on like medium. It says it's supposed to be like 325 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't have a thermometer and nor am I going to invest in one. So I'm just gonna hope that it gets hot. This is why I have test pieces. Whoa, it's so blue. And when I put the beignets in, they're gonna fry and you will see that. I think it says fry them for like three minutes on either side, but really just until they're like golden and hope that the inside is cooked. And then I'm going to transfer them onto this pretty glass plate, but I'm going to have paper towels over it so that the oil can like seep out of the beignets first. I don't want to get too close to it. I feel like I left it heating up for too long. So let's do the test pieces. I'm scared. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's puffing up. The pieces I cut are going to be hugongous. These are how the pieces I fried came out. Look how ugly they are. It's okay. You can laugh. It's funny. Cause I'm crying. Can you get like a disease or something from eating undercooked flour? So it says fry like about three pieces at a time. So I have three. I'm literally just gonna take them out when they look golden and pretty. I'm scared. Oh my God. I feel like it's too hot. These are coming out cute. They're not bubbling. Why is this one bubbling? Okay. Oh my god, this one's vibrating. Why are you vibrating? I think you're ready. I think you are ready. You are ready. Yay! Tengo hungry. Yo tengo hungry también. That's why I want to finish so you can cocinar. Mm. <laughs> That's it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Period. These? These are pretty cute. So, the beignets are here. Um, here's what they look like. They're low-key pretty burnt on the outside, and I'm hoping they're okay on the inside. <laughs> they're little puff balls of joy. Well, some of them are hard, which probably means they're undercooked, but a lot of them are pretty um, soft. Oh my god, these look so much better in like this. Look at this picture. Please look at that picture and then look at mine. Actually, not that bad. Actually, they're looking pretty sexy if you ask me. I have this whole thick bottle of honey. I'm gonna put the pretty sides up and the prettier ones on top. Let's do a honey, a honey pour. Yes, a honey. Honey drizzle. Woo! So I put honey all over it and then powdered sugar. I feel like this is gonna be pretty dang bad. Here we go. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. The yay and beignet is because of the powdered sugar, so don't be shy. Not shy, not shy. Like you, oh, you don't even have honey. Pobrecito. Oh my god, oh, I dropped the powdered sugar. Crystal, you're a clown. Look at them. Make sure only the pretty ones show. They look actually pretty cute. I'm gonna clean up around me so that I can take a picture. Please hold. Let's just taste test it before I'm scared. I'm gonna get the biggest piece. Let's try it. Bingay, cheers. I'm scared. Mmm. Maybe I put a lot of honey because the honey is kind of overpowering. And maybe more powdered sugar because there's like ba barely any on this piece. I think it's undercooked if I'm being honest with this piece. Which is why I wanted to eat it so that no one in my family would so I couldn't be clown. I say that it's undercooked but it's definitely too durable and I feel like it's more cooked than undercooked. Let's try one more piece. Yay, cheers. I can't tell if it's undercooked or overcooked. I definitely will still be going to the beignet place I buy beignets from. Princess Tiana would fire me from her kitchen and I would thank her. I know she would hate me, but they are good. <laughs> that was cooking with Crystal. I think I was born to be like, not born to be, because I can't really cook. But I think I was born to be better at cooking than baking, even though I love baking. But I just suck at it. But that won't stop me. I do want to be a good baker. I think I'm going to do a savory dish next time to make myself feel better. Overall, these beignets were pretty yay, but they were more eh. So like beignet, you know? Thanks for cooking with me. I appreciate it. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. If you like to see me suffer, hurt, um, suck at baking, all of the above. If you like that, give me a big thumbs up. And make sure you guys subscribe, leave a comment down below. I will see you guys in the next video, whatever that may be. Stay cool, stay fresh, stay loving yourself, and stay speaking yourself. I'll talk to you guys soon. Ta-ta!